charter plane from Ottawa to Brantford to the W. Ross School for the Blind. This we are doing for the short-term placement program for kids that are being uh, supported at their local home schools. They get to meet up and do activities once every six or so weeks and learn some skills. Also helps to get them some independent and daily living skills. The W. Ross campus is situated on 20 hectares of land and the original school was built in 1872 which still stands today which has it been expanded over the years the deafblind school is also situated here uh, the school hosts about 200 students during the school year that get flown in or driven in throughout the province and sometimes throughout the country. It has a very good program from what we hear and it's definitely good for those who need the extra resources that aren't getting them in their own home communities, especially rural areas. If you're in the urban centers like Ottawa or Toronto area, the school boards have a bit more resources and more itinerant teachers, period. Um, we got to learn at the STPs, the kids at this one went and did their own activities uh, and the parents got to do their own activities. We first did a simulation of I will be doing a short video of the campus, especially the senior residents where we are staying and doing most of our programming. And this will be part one of a couple of videos. These short-term programs are entirely free and do not cost us any money as it is supported by the Ministry of Education and it is a great resource to tap in if you can access it. My daughter has made many lifetime friends at these short-term programs that live throughout the province. The school has a running track as well as an indoor pool with rock climbing wall, as well as a gym with a run indoor running track above it, as well as an indoor rock wall and a lot of exercise equipment for the kids' needs. There's also a huge music department so this is the living residence for the high school kids. Huge room. Hello. Hello, I'm videotaping. Say hi. Oh, you're videotaping? Yes, say hi. My hair! <laughs> I like that. And then there's a bathroom here. So did you get like, me banging on your door? No, just right now. And... These are the pods, the high school pods. Yes, um, that's another pod. There's my daughter, Abby. Say hello. Hi. There. And this is the um, rec room. In this pod, there's crafts, the TV, keyboard, exercise ball. And then, yep. And then there's another bathroom in here, and another bathroom in here. This one's the wheelchair accessible one, and a washer dryer, and so those are two rooms, and then there's two more rooms here. 
two beds, two desks, closets, drawers, and doing a little tour of the pods. Mom, my cane. Yes, you dropped your cane. Well, no, I didn't drop my cane. It fell. And here's the kitchen. So it's a full-fledged kitchen. Um, the kids that go to school here, they have breakfast here, and then they have lunch in the cafeteria, and they have Keurig yes, machines, ma and here's the dining table, and computer, and then, oh, here, we're going to the living room. Beautiful glass wall. That. And that's the living room and the big TV. So this is the big, huge family room. They can hang out, exercise, whatever they want to do. So this is the hallway. Our room is on the second floor. But there's a CCTV and some computers. There's one computer lab. And this is another computer lab. And a big uh, open lounge for a piano, big TV, couches, so the kids can hang out. When kids come here for school, each pod would be um, either girls or boys, and so they can hang out in places like that. See, we're on the second floor. That's the little open area down there. Oh, and they're decorating for Halloween. And that's the front door to the uh, entrance here. And then we're taking the elevator. Now on the first floor, and there's another washroom, another computer lab. And this way is to the rest of the, the school. Lot of scary. There's the that's projector they put movies on in that. And these are just more pods. That's the usually there's more music stuff in there. There's some music. But this is the place for short-term placements where we have our snacks. As there's TV. Gotta get my priorities straight. Having a coffee. I think I filled it almost too much. Oh, that cool a second. But this is gonna be the snack tonight. Fruit and cheese and veggies. There's the creamers water and juice boxes and crackers. Water fountain and bathrooms. Emergency eye wash station. But this is where we will be spending the majority of our time here this weekend. This is usually, it's an activity room. This is usually where they do some painting or some craft of some sort. And this is the fun game room. Air hockey, foosball. Because we're gonna have smaller kids here this weekend. There's some teeter-totter stuff. 
and life-size Jenga and life-size Kerplunk. And there's the balls that go in it. You can see the life-size twister mat as well as exercise mats and bean bag chairs. And this evening we started with a drumming circle as you can hear some of that right now. It was a lot of fun and we did some name get to know you games and the kids got to meet some new kids that have never been to an STP before and new parents. There was about 16 families here, about 30 kids and adults. It so far it has been a lot of fun.